In the Middle East now, Israeli ground forces push further into Gaza on a mission to wipe out Hamas. Officials in Israel say the Hamas terror attack of October 7th that sparked the war killed more than 1,400 Israelis. Israel Defense Forces posted a video they say shows military strikes on military infrastructure in Syria. IDF says it was responding to rocket launches from Syria. Meanwhile, more aid trucks have entered Gaza through the border with Egypt. This as Israeli Defense Forces say a female Israeli soldier who was kidnapped by Hamas during that initial attack in Israel has now been rescued. The news of that rescue giving hope to the families of the more than 200 hostages still held captive. Tonight, the Jewish Federation of Cleveland held a vigil for each one of those victims praying for their safe return. It's really important to not look at the numbers, but to realize that each of these individuals is an individual person with a name and a face and a life that they had before they were kidnapped. So tonight is really important, but what we do outside of this room afterwards is even of greater importance. Now, before word of that successful rescue, Hamas released a video that claims to show three other female hostages. In that video, they do not appear to be physically harmed, but near the end, one can be seen screaming at the camera.